what we see quite a bit in our space is that people miss the forest from the trees. And what I mean this by this specifically in our context, it's entirely obviously coincidental that um, Satoshi called the bytes in his network bitcoins. Uh, so that is just a naming convention for a set of bytes. And the default medium of exchange has been bytes for decades. So this whole notion that we are digitizing finance is utterly misguided because uh, finance has been digital for uh, a number of decades. So that's not the point. It's really who controls these bytes. And when we think about bytes control, then we think about the externalities of not being able to control your bytes yourself right now and not being able to control your bytes has tremendous externalities. So there specifically, the cost of cybercrime last year exceeded $6 trillion. If you remember the number that I mentioned earlier for the whole cryptocurrency markets, that's more than three times the entire cryptocurrency market. And this has two roots specifically. So one root is simply that of human beings and they are more specifically social engineering. Most hacking is actually social engineering as someone convincing someone else to give him or her access to um, a database, which is the technical reason for the cost of cyber crimes. Because if I'm a bank employee, if I'm an employee at Uber, if I'm an employee at um, a, a nation state's enforcement agency, then uh, chances are I have access to a database with a lot of personal identifiable data, a lot of transaction records. And if I or my access credential is being breached, then all of a sudden a third party has access to all of that data rather than what's happening with um, a hack of my personal wallet where that individual will just get access to the coins and tokens that I store in that wallet. So the cost of cybercrime has been increasing. The reason why this particular graphic is going down at the end, by the way, is because there's a lack of reporting usually of about 200 days. By the way, there's a lot of um, databases that are publicly available that show these costs. As a frame of reference, uh, the average company's uh, damages amount to more than $8 million for a data breach, and there's a data breach uh, approximately every hour now.